Francisco Alsina. February 2, 1610, he is a Spanish historian and a Jesuit missionary in the Philippines. He served as parish priest in the Visayan Islands for 37 years. Most of those years were spent among the natives whom he used to call my beloved Visayans. The historical presence is mentioned primarily by Father Francisco Alsina, and only very briefly. With regard to their physical appearance, it is from Padre Alsina that will also have what seems to be the only illustration thus available of the Binukot. This indicates the greater, greater depth of Father Alsina's immersion in Visayan culture. The term Binukot exists in the vocabularies and Henry Scott makes various scattered references to the Binukot in Visayan society. Although he, is, he, is, he does not treat the topic separately, historically, they have remained indistinct due to the elusive nature of this group. There is a brief, undated ethnographic account of the Binukot tradition in Cap in Cadiz provided by Jose P. Volante now to explain the culture surrounding the Binukot. The anthropologist Alicia P. Magos, who has studied extensively the Maaram o Babaylan tradition in Antique, first inquired into the phenomenon of the Binukot from a sociopolitical perspective, as practiced by the mountain dwellers of central Panay. Magus also mentions the role of the Binukot as she is depicted in the Abrera. May 26, 2009, 10.43 a.m. Philippine Social Science Review ethics gathered from the Bukidnon of Central Panay. A documentary on the Binukot practice in Panay was aired on television, which featured none of the remaining Binukot women in the Panay Highlands. It is in the ethics that the Binukot is depicted and described appearing there is a select group of women who were highly regarded for their beauty and influence. Not all ethics identify them directly, but the practices of these highborn women is described in these ethics are very similar. This group hardly was composed of young women who were kept secluded in separate leaf rooms as such were not generally perceived to be a presence in pre-colonial society if one were to go by the colonial documents. However, the fragments of evidence and the glimpses we get from these him accounts supplemented by the surprisingly strong presence of this class of women in oral history can supply us with the initial picture of who these women were and the power they wielded in pre-colonial and indigenous people society. However, one can rightly assume that the phenomenon was more complex than what is presently understood through the article. This paper is an initial attempt to gather the historical references to the Binukot and postulate an understanding of their role in the indigenous society. It seeks to contribute to widening the slim towards this group of women who were not intended to be seen. William Dampier When William Dampier was cruising Mindanao, he was able to record some snippets which are useful about the practice of seclusion. William Dampier baptized on September 5, 1651, was an English explorer, pirate, privateer, navigator, and naturalist who became the first Englishman to explore parts of what is today Australia and the first person to circumnavigate the world three times. He has also been described as Australia's first natural historian, as well as one of the most important British explorers of the period between 
Francisco Drake, 16th century, and James Cook, 18th century. He bridged those two eras with a mix of piratical daring due of the former and scientific inquiry of the later. In describing the preparation of avocados, he was the first European to describe the making of guacamole, named the breadfruit plant, and made frequent documentation of the taste of numerous foods pouring to the European palate, such as flamingo and manati. Datus desired Binukot maidens for their wives a practice that is more than reflected in the epics. William Dampier Cruising Mindanao in 1687 records some snippet which are useful about the practice of seclusion. The Sultan in Mindanao that they visited had many daughters by many women, but it was his one daughter by his wife who was a Binukot. <laughs> 